Good dog. Arrows, be good. I'm gonna be right over there. Early spring is a busy time. Wendy is ready to plant the garden, so I need to top off the raised beds with our finished compost. I've done a number of videos on this process, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it in this video. A good chunk has already been done. Those two compost bins have already been emptied And I've already started in on this one. Here are the raised beds I've already topped off. And Wendy has already planted arugula, kale, cabbage, lettuce, onions, spinach, cauliflower, and broccoli. Most of this video will be about tearing down and replacing these compost bins. Look at how worn out they are. Some of the wood has actually decomposed into compost. These compost bins were the first things that I built when we bought this place about six years ago. They've served their purpose and don't look like they're gonna last another year. I made them with old pallets. It's pretty easy to find places willing to give you old pallets for free. The new ones will be made with better materials so they should last a little longer but before I can do this project, I want to keep going on the compost for Wendy's garden. Normally, I'd shift the top layers of unfinished compost into an emptied bin. But because I can't do that this year, I've been putting it on top of my bin of leaves. The leaves will get layered in with grass clippings over the next season or two. I also use wood chips as another source of carbon. Chipping and shredding this pile of branches is another job that I need to do before I can rebuild those compost bins. Like I said, early spring is a busy time.
This is an interesting side note. Wendy is at work today, so I have to keep our dog Eros with me. Eros was a rescue dog. He was abandoned, so he has a lot of separation anxiety. I'm trying to keep him safely in this enclosed space. He's got a comfy place to lay down, a bone, and a favorite toy to play with. He can see me across the yard, but he doesn't like being this far away from his people. He's in his harness and is tethered to the fence on a long cable leash. Let's see how he does. Eros, be good. I'm gonna be right over there. Okay, everything's gonna be okay. Well, at least that leash kept him from getting too far away. Eros, come on, Eros. You gotta come back in here. I just have to do some work. Everything's okay. Everything's okay, puppy dog. Here. Look. Have a yeah. He got out again. Eros? Eros? Come. Eros? Come on, Eros. You have to stay inside where it's safe. You have to stay inside where it's safe. Stay inside.
arrows. <sighs> well, you get the idea. The leash and harness are at least slowing him down. Yes, yes, you've been a bad dog. Getting out. He's been wanting to go up to the house to see if Wendy is home. She's not. If I were to put him inside the house, Eros could actually turn the doorknob and come out. So that's not an option. And if I leave him outside of this enclosed space on the long leash, he can pull against it and actually eventually wiggle his way out of that harness. So I can't just tie him up to the fence and call it good. So I have to have a couple layers of protection so I can periodically check and make sure he's not getting into too much trouble. Troublemaker. Yes. Come on. Come on in here. Yeah, bring the whole leash in. It's okay. It's okay. It slows me down a little bit from what I'm trying to do over there, but this is just what I have to deal with. I decided to opt for a more secure dog jail. Basically using the van as a dog crate at this point. I do like making these videos. <clears throat> do that again. Eros, lay down. Lay down, little doggy. Yes, be a good dog. Lay down. I don't, you lay down over there or you're not going to be like a little nose in the frame. Yes, we don't want you to just be a little nose in the frame. Come on. Good dog. There was just too much good material for this video. Eros. Eros, don't do that. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, no. You're going to push the thing over. Come here. There was just... Too much good material for this video. I'll have to show replacing those compost bins in the next one. I do like making these videos about using our own homemade compost. This year's edit was supposed to be quick and dirty, so to speak. 
Somebody remind me, next year's video should be called Quick and Dirty. Eros wasn't left in the van too long. We did take breaks for walks and hung out in the house for lunch. Thanks for watching.